Often you do things right and you lay it out as if they should be done. And somebody has told you how to do this. You execute very simply on this particular thing and you don't get the result that you thought you should get. And often it is the case that you fail at the thing that you are doing. I wanna talk about that today and I wanna say that you are absolutely normal. This is a regular experience that we go through. I go through this on a daily, if not weekly basis where I thought I would accomplish various different things and it didn't work out in the way that it was intended to work out or somebody told me that it was gonna work out. I wanna give you the example with this, this YouTube channel that I'm actually doing and then, um, and then tell you why you are totally normal and it is okay to go through these experiences. So this is, I was having this conversation with somebody that I know and they were saying, well, why didn't you just do this, this, and this? And, um, you know, the thing is, is that when I do this, this, and this, nothing works out. So on this YouTube channel, for example, I'm trying to build this platform, the reciprocity platform, to help us work more effectively and, and easily. And I started going on to YouTube and it grows slowly. It's a very difficult process. And people were saying, well, why don't you talk about this? And why don't you talk about this? I was having a conversation with somebody specifically. And you know, the truth is, is that when you do those things and you execute on those particular things, nothing happens. I've done this many times before where somebody said, do this particular thing. Or I watched, you know, YouTube videos where they say like, hey, do this, this, and this, and it doesn't work out. Or I, I read books, um, you know, on how to do this kind of stuff. And then I do it and it doesn't work out. Very little happens. And, you know, why is this actually happening? right? So the performance that you expect doesn't happen. It doesn't explode overnight. <laughs> um, you know, where there's, where there's lots of people, there's all sorts of fanfare and thousands, all that kind of stuff. The reason is, is that often you don't understand the complexity of the nature of the thing that you're trying to do. And that there is a lot of moving parts often. And that is very difficult to sort of think about those moving parts. The other thing that's really important to realize is that the things that people tell you, it's translated. It is already processed. They don't often understand what they are looking at. It's like if you were a um, operator of a nuclear power plant. Well, any individual doesn't understand the workings of a nuclear power plant. It would be really unusual if you did and know all of the things of a nuclear power plant. And so when you look at it, they're going to give you their story of how this thing works, but it's not going to be the whole story of what is actually going on with that nuclear power plant. And much of life is actually like that. Now, the third thing that I want to point out that a lot of people don't want to hear is that people do lie, cheat and steal all the time. And so they don't disclose completely everything. They have a motive, they have intentions to tell you a certain way to make it easy for them to, for you to sort of follow, maybe it's follow their program or whatever, all these kind of things that they have where you purchase or get something from them, you know, that they are trying to be attractive in some sort of way and make it very easy for you to understand or think that it's very easy for you to understand this particular thing. This has been an age old problem for a long time. So what do we do then in, in this particular circumstance where we have all of this complexity and your default coming into any particular problem, in my experience, should be that it should fail in that it doesn't work out the way that you thought it should be. And most of the time that that is the outcome that you should expect. So if that is the case, right? So on this YouTube channel, for example, I, I um, you know, try... A B testing, I try, you know, um, getting a video editor, all these kind of things, and it doesn't work out in the way that I that you think it's going to work out. Instead, your default should be is this recognition that it's a complicated structure. And often the things that make something really popular and really interesting have very little to the sort of intended way of 
that it, it, it sort of progressed, right? Like businesses, for example, they don't necessarily happen or become popular because of a certain thing that were intention, intentional, like somebody actually outlined this thing and, and sort of executed on. Often it's very happenstance. And even when you think it's intentional, you plan this particular thing, the reason why that intentional thing happened was often very much a surprising sort of random chance event that actually happened to get that to that moment, that sort of inspirational moment. So I'd encourage you, if this is you and you're experiencing this right now, is to just realize that the world is complicated. And what you're doing is actually probably the right thing. You're probably doing all of the things that should be done. And you need to simply just say, I am good enough at this moment and I just need to keep get, getting back up and doing this thing. Often there's a lot of little things that you learn or that other people learn as you progress towards something. This is a hard problem that we know in, in um, technology studies, for example, or innovation studies, that it often does not, even if you have a superior product that is far better than everything else on the market, it doesn't necessarily mean that that is gonna work out. Or the fact that you're a pioneer in an area doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to actually win out in that particular area. And it's the expectation that you should understand that things are just not gonna work out. So instead of thinking of that I need to execute on these things and that everything is gonna be laid out in sort of a very simplistic way of, of the world, right? You have an action and then you have an outcome that happens. And if you perform that action in the right way, then you get the right outcome. But instead realize that there is a lot of steps that are not disclosed and not understood between that action and that outcome. You can get the right education. You can get um, all of the right tutors. You can get right, all of the, the, the right situation all lined out. Everything's perfect and still end up where it just doesn't work out for you and you experience a lot of hardship, a lot of challenges along the way. And so instead of thinking of this very simplistic way, I want you to take a step back and realize things are complicated. And if that's the case, then I want you to take a little bit of, of um, weight off your shoulders and simply say, well, you know what? This is a complicated process. I need to get back up and I need to keep trying every single day. And I know that every single day it's not going to work out. But here's the magical thing. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I can't explain it. Um, it's the act of doing it many, many times. We know that that, that that is one of the hard truths or the one things that we know in um, much of, of, of life, much of you know, that sort of studies the things of le learning is the thing that I study. And there's a lot of studies on this. The more you do something, the better off you get. It's hard to know why at any given moment. Um, it could be I, so, some technical terms. It could be the knowledge that you absorb. It could be the, the capital that you get. It could be identity that you, that you have. All these kind of things. There's all these different factors. And all of them are right. And we can't explain, I can't tell you why it's going to happen in a certain way, but I can tell you that it works. That repeating getting back up and doing it over and over and over again, you often get some sort of positive result. It's not often, it's, it may not be the positive result that you intentionally thought it was at the beginning, but there is a positive result that happens where you get, maybe you get more confident or maybe that you do better in, in the sense of the, the, the way that you're thinking of, that it performs better. You know, all these kind of things that we can't put our, our fingers on and we can't necessarily know why it happens, but it happens, right? The more times that you play the piano, the more times that you get exposure to the piano, uh, the better off that you're actually going to be. Why that happens? Can we actually say that there is a moment where all of a sudden it clicked and you became really good at playing the piano this day because of something that happened the last day? No, we can't do any of that. Right? It's a very hard problem. But um, what we can do is say, 
hey, if you repeat and you do this a lot of times, in fact, you know, the, the number that is often repeated, you know, just kind of a number, but 10,000 times, right? Doesn't necessarily, there's no value on that 10,000 time, you know, number, but it just means do it so many times that it becomes second nature. So for me on this YouTube channel thing, um, I'm only at like 3,600 videos. So do I expect this to click right now? I shouldn't, right? Like that is nuts. But um, when it gets to 10,000 times, maybe, okay, maybe something's gonna happen. But um, even when I get to 10,000 times, does it mean that I'm gonna be a master and all this gonna, no, it means that you're pretty good. Um, it means that you're well on your way and you got to go to 100,000 times that you put out videos and did different things until you get to that moment where it just becomes so much. Um, not much is going to happen. And here's the thing. There is very little in terms of you explaining, well, this was the moment that things changed and everything worked out. You can't explain it. But what you can do is get back up and you do it again 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 and you do it again. So many times that it just gets boring. And that's when you know you're actually doing the right thing. When you stop falling for all of those things that people say that you should do those things and all that kind of stuff, you just do it. And you figure it out as you go and it becomes your thing. All right, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye.